Do you hear that skipping? Is that official dubstep music? I don't know what it is. It's oh. uh, it's Skrillex. It it. Did you hear that skip? Obviously, Kobe's here tonight. Yeah, yeah, he definitely doesn't approve. God, that sucks. I'm gonna. I might have to. All right, man. God down. Shut up. Might have to figure out something else there. <laughs> Tone that shit down. Man, that kind of changed the way we do the intro, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I forgot to drug him today. My bad. Yeah, last couple times he was asleep. Yeah. He was on medication. Well, not really asleep, but. All right, so you want to do what's new with you? What's new with me? No kids. That's a beautiful thing. That you know of? Yeah, that I know of. <laughs> True story, except for this fucking canine unit over here. Uh, other than that, no, nah, man, I'm just living the dream, you know. Not that you really care, but uh, I'm 196 pounds now. What? Oh, yeah, baby. Spring break's going to be a problem. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, I'm gonna be killing them, and I'm gonna be from every university under the sun. As you, as you can hear, I don't, I don't know if anybody else heard this, but he said killing him. <laughs> killing him is a possibility. Uh, I heard him. Whatever. Hear what you want. Hear what you want. So nothing new with you? Nah, not really. No, I'm just. All right. See what's new, it. what's new with me? It's the intern's birthday. Oh, happy birthday! I would say your age on the air, but you know I'm trying to go to jail. Boom. All right. Well, that I mean, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> obviously oh, she's man. old enough. Oh man. Um, oh man. Um. Let's see. We went to the East West Shrine game. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. That uh, actually, the gaff got us tickets for. Yeah, no problem. It was truly. How was that though? Was it? I mean, we only stayed for the first half. All right. All right. Um. Dude, really that nice. dude for Northern Illinois, Jordan Lynch. He's terrible. Oh, the quarterback? Terrible. Yeah, he was not that good in practice terrible. anyway. Terrible. Yeah, I, I was watching. I was like, Ugh. Okay, so a little sidebar on this. I guess this is what new with me. So I was doing the uh, behind the scenes, if you will, training room. And uh, a couple of the kids, grown-ass men, kids, whatever, they came into the room. And uh, standard locker room, you know, bullshit. Like, oh, we going to kick your ass. You're not that good, yada, yada, yada. Now, this is going from... East team to the West team. That's I mean, it's, that's that's just good competition, if you will. But um, <laughs> the topic of conversation changed real quick when it was just one team in the uh, in the training room, and they were looking around and verbatim, "How would this motherfucker get here? <laughs> Who do you know that got you in this bowl game? Dude was terrible. What team was he from?" I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure it's in the back of your car still. I think we've got the uh, program. They now I don't know if they were selling the programs because I saw a lady who they had the you know the money pouches yeah. back in the day. Doug used to have all money right, pouches. All right, all right. They had those, and all of a sudden I wanted one, and I see the lady <laughs> going and looks like she's selling it. Then a little kid comes down the next aisle over, handing them out, and I go, I oh, actually. Sh- I'll take one. Yeah, let, me get, let me get one of them. Let me get one of them. Because programs are usually about $9. Oh, yeah, easily, easily, along with $10 beer night. Did they serve alcohol during that game? Did, uh, was it 9 $9, damn. Yeah, I, I didn't get any. Ooh, kill them. Yeah, w- uh, we were drinking lime maritas. Oh boy. Oh boy. Actually had free parking for that, too. Found a spot that said two-hour parking in first half. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't be more than two hours, right? <laughs> Because uh, late, later that ass. night, we went to uh, Monster Jam in, like, the 40-degree weather. Oh, yeah. How was that? It, it was good. Raymond James. Aren't uh, they coming back for something like that right now? February 1st. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Okay. It was the first time she's ever been to uh, Monster Jam. Oh, That's cute. You should have saved that for the day, maybe. Been a little more significant. For what day? I'm not hating. I'm just saying. Save it for what day? It, you just said it was the girl's birthday. Right? No, it was her birthday the day after. Oh. So that's not new. That's old, then, technically. You lied to me. What are you talking about? You lying bastard. You said what's new with you, and her birthday is almost a week old, so that's old. Her birthday is two days old. (laughs) It was Sunday. It was two two days ago. I need to be more clear with y'all shit, man. Y'all got to define. We're all about clarity on this. Yeah, it's all about clarification, but, man. Man. Let's see. What else is new with me? Redefine print. Oh, did you see what's hanging up, like kind of above your head? A couple bucks flags. Figured you'd appreciate oh, that. You always sit up, over there. What's up, love you? 
Lovey Smith in the building being represented. So now are the Bucks going to be okay in your eyes? I mean, not okay. They're working on it. I don't hate them. I just dislike them now. Who'd you guys get as a coach? Oh, fucking Ken Wisenhunt. Really? That's a marquee move. Okay, next subject, man. I was really upset about that. You hey, get well, you get run out of Arizona, and then you get the Tennessee job. Really? Hey, well, while we're talking about football, we should talk about that Super Bowl. Let's go Peyton Manning all day. I just want to see a good game. I want to see Richard Sherman go up against somebody after his post-game speech. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. What do you think about that? I don't have a problem with it. I think he probably could have picked, like, post-game, post-game, like maybe a news conference for it. But you could see Aaron Andrews was extremely confused. Well, she's kind of slow anyway, man. She goes, what do you mean he said something about you or whatever? No, no, no. See, see I, don't think she, I, don't think, I don't think she was clueless. I think she was trying to provoke him. A little bit. Because think about it. Think about it. Okay, so we're going to be real. This is a CEO show right here right now. It's a real moment. We're going to break it down for you real quick. You don't have to be the most. Now, granted, uh, what's his name? Sherman. What's his first name? Richard? Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman from Compton. Not the easiest place to come from. Went to Stanford. Not the easiest place to get into, especially if you're a black male from Compton. Yeah, he got a full ride scholarship okay. athletically. Yeah. He graduated with a 3.9 GPA and is now playing in the NFL going to the Super Bowl. Okay, okay. That's a pretty legit resume, I mean, for anybody. Yeah. I mean, that's average day's work, I guess. So I would like to go to Stanford. Now, now I'm, not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to piss off eyes low over here, but y'all don't know him like that. Eyes low? Uh, eyes low. <laughs> I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to piss him off like that, but his team is the 49ers, okay? And when you got somebody that calls out, a.k.a. Crabtree calls my man out, Sherman. Crabtree's a shit talker. He is. And, I, I mean, I can respect you for that. I have no problem with that. It's part of the game. But knowing that you called me out and I have to validate, I'm a football player, okay? You called me out. I'm on the biggest stage. I'm about to go get paid. We're playing for game checks. I got to show up and ball out. So the simple fact that I just made the play of the game to end the game, and y'all know, they might not have known, but I was already geeked up, and there, and he comes out, he's like, don't ever talk shit about me. Okay, we slide to the next question. We're not going to try to go in depth on this question right now with my man geeked up. He <laughs> might, he might. Fuck, what if he fucked around and hit you? You oh, know what Aaron I'm saying? Andrews? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't think know, he's that like, crazy. I'm, it's not even about being crazy. It's about being juiced up in the moment. Y'all don't understand. Like, football is a very emotional game. It's not a nice. It's not a nice game. Basketball is passionate, but you don't get to go out there at 200 miles an hour, run somebody over, and get up and talk shit about it and walk over them. No, you don't get to do that. You get to dunk on somebody, put your nuts in his face. Unless you're Robert Ory in the playoffs against the Suns years you know, ago. You remember I mean, that where I'm he took saying, out Steve Nash? I'm just saying, if they would have given that man about 45 more seconds to compose himself, he would have been a better representation. People are trying to blow it up like it's a big story. Who cares? No, a Aaron Andrews was quick to get off the. Uh the topic. I think like she, she was, was like, scared, "All right, back to, to uh, back back to John in the studio." That's <laughs> it was very quick. Like, Get me out of here. Um, I was gonna say something else about the Super Bowl too, and now Kobe made me forget. Maybe they won't have a power outage this year. Oh, actually, no. What I was gonna say is, oh well, no. WrestleMania is actually in the same dome that that was. Oh, I, I could take a Crabtree versus Sherman match. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman would eat him alive. Alive. They wouldn't even make it out of the locker room, bro. They'd be like no hold bar. It'd be over in two seconds. All right, so let's see if we can get into these current events. If my phone wants to work. Oh, I, okay. So the first two relate to McDonald's. It's pretty great. Yeah, pretty great. Oh, the second one's not that great. See, See what I'm talking about? All right, let me read you the headline. Technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. It happens. McDonald's workers sold drug from restaurant. This guy, he's interesting. He was he sold twenty stamp bags of heroin to confidential uh, a confidential police informant <laughs> through through McDonald's. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, but I got one closer to home than that. I knew. All right. So uh, AMC 20, Tampa Road, Curlew, whatever. Remember that old uh, yeah, yeah, Kentucky theater? Fried Chicken? That used to be right there. Uh, if you're on the, the Curlew side of AMC 20. Yeah. You, well, it was a pizza hut, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. But the KFC, all right. Uh, true story. Uh, through a friend of a friend, if you will, Homeboy was selling uh, marijuana, cannabis. Through the drive-through at uh, KFC, 
and the code word was extra biscuits. <laughs> now, mind you, I've always asked for extra biscuits when I ordered KFC, you know. So the way the story went down is family of four comes through. He's like, yeah, I want a family meal. Uh, yeah, can I get some extra biscuits? Dude's like, oh, word. <laughs> Slides them the little package. You're like, um, management, this isn't what we ordered. Yeah, so he lost his job that day. So that's not that's not new, but that's funny. McDonald's finally got on that on that hit list, if you will. That's kind of cute. Now another McDonald's, uh, another McDonald's scene hunt. It says cops hunt man who shredded U.S. flag flying outside McDonald's. Really? <laughs> Are we really wasting money on that? Sarasota. <laughs> He went up to the McDonald's, took the McDonald's flag and the U.S. flag down, put the McDonald's flag back up, I believe. Oh, no, no. He 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 took the flag, <laughs> shredded the U.S. flag, and took the McDonald's flag and uh, had it flying on his truck when they uh, caught him. That, that sounds like a Sarasota move right there. Why would you fly the evidence on your truck, man? And you'll like it exactly where I'm going with this. I'm assuming he's white. Oh, yeah. Oh, you already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Okay, because first of all, first of all, and Oslo can vouch for this one, they're not going to just let their, sit there and watch a black dude take a fucking flag down. That's not going to happen. He took two flags down? Not going to happen, bro. They're not going to let you do that. Well, did you hear about the story about my flagpole in the front? Middle of the night, my flagpole, <laughs> there was some shenanigans. Uh, peanut, whiskey puss, and I don't know if you know the Russian. Well, you know who it is, but... Um, yeah, I decided to uh, take it down and string the rope to my front door tied with some shorts on it. Middle of the night. <laughs> That's what they do for fun. <laughs> Devastation. Oh, man. All right, now for the one that's uh, close to home. About the TV thief. Yeah, that's funny. Florida cops hunt thief who stole TV from Target and made getaway on skateboard. <laughs> Did they catch? They caught him? No, no, no. They, well, he's still at large. I mean, <laughs> I mean, as as of this, as of this, which was four days ago, I don't have anything Stop since then. Stop playing. He he got there a few minutes before closing, grabbed the 32 inch TV, then tucked it under his arm and skated towards the exit. His first attempt to flee the store was thwarted by a set of locked doors. <laughs> So he rolled into a set of closed doors. As he headed for another exit, the man allegedly flashed a knife who con when confronted by a store personnel. There is surveillance video. Police describe a skateboard as a white male in his 20s, 5'11", about that's 150 different. pounds. White male, that's different. They additionally noted the getaway vehicle was brown in color and had orange-yellow wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say if he jacked the skateboard, too. I'm assuming he came with it. That's terrible, man. That is terrible. I think, the, I think the intern actually has something to say. Yeah, I want to hear this because I will say this, though. If it was a white boy on a skateboard, you hella athletic if you got away with a TV <laughs> on a skateboard, all right? I'll give you props for that, bro. You know what I mean? That's just crazy. All right. My only <laughs> confusion with this is that he brought a skateboard into Walmart to steal this TV. Target. Target. But he had a car, so he had this. No, you no. just said the getaway vehicle, the skateboard. It was a skateboard. Oh, you said vehicle. That's what the article says. They're a making fun of the fact he has a skateboard. <laughs> it's a means of transportation. All right, thanks for yeah. clarifying that. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. We got you. Yeah, the, yeah, the Clearwater Mall one. Yeah. Are you gonna try to hit that one again, B? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, it's terrible. All right, so we'll start up in um, Indiana. Oh, that's always a beautiful spot. Is it Gary? Where, where Purdue is. Oh, I don't know where Purdue is. I know Gary produced Michael Jackson. That's a problem. Actually, I didn't, I didn't look this up, but I, I saw an article about a uh, University of Pennsylvania, like track star or something like that, who jumped to her death because of her grades. Ooh, shit. Penn's uh, Ivy League. I understand that, but what was the GPA? I I don't know. It was it, probably four point two, and you know that's that's tough. They don't want to post that, so I can't really determine how crazy this bitch was because you <laughs> jumped for some damn grades. Wow. Well, hey, remember you got to give me those pictures so we can post them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I will say this about the pictures for his posted. The only thing I felt sorry for in that picture was the bike. 
<laughs> that was a hefty duck. Yeah, he was big. He was a big guy. Oh, hey, wait a second. I'm like out. Are we talking about the three that you showed me? Yeah, what, what was the deal with those? Well, I was at a stoplight, and it started to rain. And I look over, my man pulled up. <laughs> no, I get that one. Oh. But the other two. The other one, have you ever seen an armored truck in a car accident? In your life? It didn't look like an accident from the pictures. It just looked like it was raining. There was... Some cars. Second one, so, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to get rear-ended or hit anybody while I was taking pictures. I wasn't texting while driving. I was taking pictures while I was driving. <laughs> but anyway, so the point of the story is the damn armored vehicle hit somebody, and then, like, I guess the drive tram or, I don't know, tram shaft, whatever the shit is, was broken. You Like you said, there's somebody up underneath. Never seen anything drive like shaft. that in my life. What is it? Drive, drive shaft. shaft. See, I don't do all that mechanic shit. That ain't my forte. But anyway never seen that and i was thinking to myself well damn i'm kind of hard up right now i need a little dough if i would have been here i don't know 15 20 minutes earlier maybe i could have walked off with a couple stacks you know you never know chances are an armored car getting in an accident isn't going to explode and have money everywhere well i don't want to get hit with shrapnel either but i'm just saying like you know it would have to be like a, a terrible accident maybe like a semi truck involved or that was like a box truck that was in it. <laughs> you know what i'm really mad about speaking of pictures you took was the video you took coming here one day of these people crossing the street. Yeah, it was funny. And all you see is a video of these old people trying to cross the street. One of them's hustling big time. The other one, not so much. And you hear him bursting out laughing. <laughs> kind of like that. And what does he do? Like two days later, drops his phone in water. Yeah, dropped in like a, a fucking foot deep bucket of water. I was like, you got to be kidding me right now, man. Hell no, I put it in rice, man. T-Mobile ain't going to let you do that, bro. I ain't had time to wait. I'm like, yo, I need a phone today. And they tried to give me some bullshit. I was, then I had to go black on their ass. I was like, look, <laughs> either y'all can just slide me a phone for the low right now and we keep it moving, or you're going to have to tell your customers why the hell shit got shut down and got real, real. I was in Pinellas Park, too, so I had no, no like, color barrier. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going down the countryside, so I had to take it to the hood. Hey, this one, I, honestly, this one's pretty weak. Some just some guy shot somebody else in Purdue. No big deal. Oh, what's going on in Purdue, man? Yeah, no big deal. I mean, it's a string of school shootings. Last week alone, two students were shot at a high school in Philadelphia and another shot at a high school in Georgia. And two middle school students were shot at a place in New Mexico. Man. Damn. You'll, uh, you'll like this one. Maryland woman... Accused of killing children say they saw demons. Go on. <laughs> it's in Rockville, Maryland. Two Maryland women accused of murdering two children they believe were possessed told investigators they saw the children's eyes turn black as, ev as evidence they were being controlled by demons. Uh, they're being held uh, and undergoing psychiatric evaluations right now. How did they, they kill the kids? Did they stab them, shoot them? Uh, a one-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl were discovered dead, and two other children, an eight-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl, were being treated for stab wounds and were expected to recover. I am assuming they were all stabbed. Damn. Says the women saw each of the uh, children's eyes blackening as demons entered the bodies of each children and jumped from one child to the other. Maybe they watch a lot of Supernatural. <laughs> I, has Have either it's one of you guys seen show. the show Supernatural? No, I don't got time for that. All right, no, it's a TV show, and the demons, when they're in the body, the eyes turn black, and they can, like, go in and out of people, and the people who kill them have a knife, and it's a special knife, and when they stab the person, the demons, like, come out of them and go back to hell. Oh, yeah, they thought they was... Now, are these black people or white people? I don't know. This Why is funny. Why does it matter? Police Why said the women are part of a four-person group calling them, calling itself the Demon Assassins. The other members, two men, are being sought but not believed to be dangerous. So they're probably white. Well, what I was well. going to say is, first of all, if it's in Maryland and they're black, they could have been high. Okay, that's a serious crack e epidemic going on up there. Baltimore. Bal yeah. They uh, don't play. All right, now I'm going to give you their names, okay, and I'm going to— let's, let's, let's play Guess That Race off the name. Let's do that. Okay. This is a no-brainer. The mother of all four children— All four children— Wait, the mom killed them? They weren't just kids that they they saw? Just, friends, random kids. just running through the street? <laughs> no, like friends' kids or something. I mean, you're going to kill your own kids? Hey, what's up, yeah, here's, here's the two mother's names. Don't look at me like that, shank. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> 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 random acts of violence. Uh, 
All right, what are the names? Zykea okay. Avery. All right, you're done. You're done. And Monifa Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, taking a wild guess that they're not white. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's a safe bet. So they probably could have been high, bro. I'll be honest with you, man. I ain't going to lie to you. It's the CO show. I'm going to give you my opinion. The women recounted that they tried to break each child's neck, then strangled and stabbed them. That's pretty intense. God damn. That's you pretty gave birth to this motherfucker 12 months ago? Ooh. Well, one was one, yeah. If that made I tried any, to, that made any I sense. I tried to break his neck. What is he, a chicken? I tried to break his neck. And then what else? Suffocate him, what they say? I tried to what? Strangle, then stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strangle, then stab. That's a nice series of events right there. That's a hell of a sequence of events. How does a kid live through all that? <laughs> like, you're already trying to snap its neck, and then you smother it, hey. and it's still alive? If you can't, I mean, hey. not not that I know anything about this, of course, but if you can't break a child's neck, Just to clarify. I mean, what's going on? Okay, like, so come on. Now, 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 before we got all crazy with it, and I do have a crazy story to piggyback this one. It's real crazy. Um, that story, if the kid would have made it, it sounds like the fucking trailer to RoboCop 2. Like, Junior just made it or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, because didn't he, like, get killed or they brought Is this the back? new RoboCop yeah, or, like, yeah. old school RoboCop? The new RoboCop. The new RoboCop. But it'll be the new RoboCop. You know, shut your black ass up. What's going on, man? Yeah, I hear you. Calm down. Beautiful thing over there. All right, so back to RoboCop Junior. You know what I'm saying? That's what it sound. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. I, I honestly, I, I've seen about four seconds of that trailer. But, uh, Taj .0, not my favorite show in the world. It's really funny. It, it, it's disturbing, cause it's disturbing. Yeah, it's but it's hilarious. really funny. Okay, I want you to tell me this clip I'm going to describe to you is fucking funny because I was fucking freaked out. I had to walk around my block a couple times to get this, <laughs> this image out of my head, okay? This was in Sarasota, my matter of fact, okay? Country-ass town, little girl walking up with no shoes on, just a diaper, no shirt, sad-looking thing, looking homely, okay? Want the squirrel in the pants? With the squirrel, man. Yeah. That is sick. Yeah, a little girl with a diaper had like no, it was more than one squirrel, wasn't it? No, was it? It was just one squirrel, but she held that motherfucker for like five minutes, bro. Well, there's there's another one where a girl had two or three frogs in her diaper. Wait, wait, wait. the, no, no, no. the this baby. One, the squirrel was dead, bro. She she had a dead squirrel in her she, diaper. No, 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 no. It, the, the, the one I saw, she didn't have a dead squirrel in her diaper. She was holding a dead squirrel, oh, yeah. telling her parents, "I think it's dead." Uh, that's a squirrel, different one. I don't think this, I've seen that this one. This is a squirrel. <laughs> she's petting and stroking it. She's like, I don't think it's going to make it. And she's like, oh, crazy ass white people. Like, oh, that's so cute. That's not fucking cute. Well, and now they're on the internet. I mean, hey. No, and she's going to be in a fucking home pretty soon. Because <laughs> if you were a two-year-old child picking up dead ass animals, stroking them, and then like, like placing them down, crossing the arms and walking away, there's something wrong with you, bro. That is not normal. Yeah. That's not normal. You picked up dead animals and stroked them when you was little? No. Exactly. In turn? I, I actually used to burn ants. Like the magnifying hey, glass. Did you ever do that? No, I didn't do that, man. I'm not malicious like that, bro. You never burned an I ant know. with a magnifying glass. First of glass. all, first of all, when I came home and asked about the magnifying glass to do that, they were like, no, we know what you about to do with your reckless ass. And so they, <laughs> they kind of nipped that in the bud. You know what I mean? But no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. All right, so next one from Florida, down That's in the West different. Palm Beach area. Oh, they got some money down there, though. This might be ratchet. It's bad. <laughs> so two teens allegedly killed by their mother in apparent double murder suicide. See a common theme today? Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Did the mom make it or no? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Explain. Uh, boy, 16, 15-year-old sister shot to death in their home. Mother also found dead of a parent's self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, this chick, this was how crazy this chick was. She sent a text to the the father basically saying, uh, uh, hey, uh, if you don't hurry up, uh, these kids are going to be dead. <laughs> and so he called 911. No, 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 no. She sent a message, an email to him saying that she thought that, that she was going to do what was best for the kids. Like, she thought that was what was best for them. And her and the, the baby daddy or whatever, they were married for over 20 years. And all of a sudden, she just thought that it was a really good idea to just kill the kids and herself. 
Yeah, it was an email. That's a hell of a decision right there. Very rarely am I wrong. Apparently, I'm wrong this time. <laughs> Wait, can I get you recorded saying that? Hey, the weird thing is that's kind of what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean like on my phone. So next time, I'll be like, oh, hey, wait a second. And then I mean, you could always kind of go to the site where it's aired again. Listen, Kobe, K9 unit, if you pull this mic out, I'm going to slap the shit out of you on the air. Man, that's crazy. I don't care about the SPCA. I don't give a shit. The dad that. of the two kids has debt of more than 790000 it says. Oh, he cashed in. I hope we had a life insurance policy on them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, but usually on kids, it's not very much. I understand that, but the wife was crazy too, man. She got some. She wore some change, little coin. Does it say why he has so much debt? Because he's dumb as fuck. No, it doesn't say. No, that's, really a, that's a lot of money. Yeah, you're not real intelligent if you're seven hundred thousand in the hole. Maybe it was time for them to move because as the mother's the one who's dead. Financial state was bad enough that she sold her late father's watch to buy gas, groceries, and clothes for the children. Oh, that's why she did it. At least she cared. She clothed them and everything. And she also put a bullet in the head. Yeah, she cared to a certain extent. Damn. That's cold-blooded shit right there. Hey, we were talking about strangling, and uh, of course I would like to save this for the next one when we talk about animals, like I said last time. But it will be the next one. Um... I was listening on the Drew Garabo show today. I have no idea who that is. On 102.5 on the radio station. Okay. And it was actually talking about a, uh, um, he was asking if it's humane, and of course it's not. But uh, there was a lady who strangled her dog. Why? Uh, killed a dog because it was very sick, and it was either spend a ton of money on getting it fixed, which she didn't have, or her other option was basically take it to a shelter where it's going to end up getting put to sleep anyway. Right. So she put the dog out of its misery. By Strangle her, style. By her. slowly killing it? It's not that slow. Eh, it's not really the fastest way. Well, no. But. Well, no, she, so she I am legend the dog. Oh, my God. Damn. Is that what he did? I don't even remember. Yeah, that's what yeah he, he choked did. the dog out. He choked it out. Should have just shot it. If you That's miss, yeah. yeah. If you miss, then you gotta clean that shit up. Well, plus because the dog was getting crazy in the movie, yeah, he has to. Well, yeah, well, he had a reason. This chick is just like, oh, obviously she has some inner anger issues if she's gonna strangle her dog. Well, the, the dog was dying. Well, the question was in that. No. Get it euthanized. Would you I mean... rather be there for when the dog dies and like die on your hands, <laughs> or or get it killed at a shelter? Euthanized, it's gonna die anyway. Not killed. Euthanized, killed. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it would depend on how long you've been with the dog. You know? No. I, guess. I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't know. I could probably go either way. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm really looking forward to your comments next time about the uh, animals. Oh, I mean. SPCA, blackfish. What the fuck is a blackfish? Well, it's not a legitimate blackfish, but it's about, a, it's about the <laughs> orca whales of SeaWorld. Oh. What about them? Do they murk like two or three trainers? They're mistreated. A lot of things are mistreated. A lot of things are not treated as well. The as elephants in the circus are mistreated, but I don't see any documentaries about them. Hey, yo, so we're talking about animals. About the elephants. I, so I was watching, you got to watch World Dumbest on True TV, okay? It is chock full of white people. Just want to let you know that, okay? So anyway, this one random episode was like white people and Asian people, right? So... Mind you, I haven't been to any, I don't know of any zoos, animal parks. You've never been to a zoo? Can I finish my statement? All right. That has bison running around just all over the place. And I have also haven't been to a zoo or a theme park that doesn't have decent fucking barricades to keep the animals where the animals are supposed to be, okay? On this episode of True Television, there's a whole bunch of Asian people on a walkway. You remember the portables? Behind at uh at the school. Oh yeah, with the monkeys walking around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not at the school. Not there weren't the monkeys school, walking right. around at the school. Well, you remember but how wide those that that wood? You were, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Remember yeah. The, you remember the the, the wood wooden walkways? walkway? Yeah. Okay, that was like in the middle of a big ass grass field with this grown ass bison, and you see the cameraman. Oh, he sounds like he's getting upset, and then you see the bison do one of these numbers. That would have been enough for me right there, just to get the hell out of the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? The bison's obviously disgruntled, you know, is what it is. 
And then the guy goes, happens to be Asian. You know Asians with the cameras all over. Oh, they love cameras so much. He goes, hey, son, why don't you go touch it? Now, you just said the thing was already kind of getting pissed off, but now you want you to put your kid in harm's way to go touch it. Oh, Junior goes up and, like, slaps the shit out of this thing, bro. Goes, wow. He turns to the camera, hi. Bison, like, tries to run him over. Like, they do laps around, like, this little tree thing, and the bison gives up, and the kid runs away, like, screaming and shit. It was pretty funny. You got to see it. Now, honestly, I don't think I would mess with, a, like, a bison at all. No. Haven't, haven't you? What is it? The, uh, is it State Farm or Allstate or whatever the oh, commercial? Oh, yeah, when you broke that... <laughs> Yeah, where it runs into the car. Yeah. Yeah. Say the jingle. Say the jingle. <laughs> I don't. A buffalo with a smile is enough for me to not be around it. I would put it like this, bro. I don't eat buffalo anything. Well, I, I eat buffalo wings. You know what I mean? But that's about it. You've yeah. not. Oh, bison burgers are actually nah, pretty good. I'm good on that. Mm, mm, pretty good. I don't know. Used to be that place in Dunedin, Spoto's. It's closed now. I, but I, they, I, oh, yeah. They changed the name. They changed the name. They, they, used, to, the name. Uh, they used to sell game meat. Um, used to have like ostrich, lion, different type of stuff, different times of the year. Right, lion. They had lion before, yeah. That taco place. Wands. No. Wands. What is wands? Five eighty, baby. Step your game. What's up, Dunedin? It's Five. by USF. No, it's Taco Fusion. Oh, I know. Are we talking? Well, I actually, that it place might be close. Oh, Taco Bus. Maybe it's Taco Bus, but they have weird animal meats. Taco Fusion, this place in Tampa, I think it's closed now, but they used to have uh, um, lion, um, ostrich. Like what's the, what's, the, what's yeah. the, like, what do y'all get out of eating that? When I say y'all, I mean white people, because black people aren't eating that shit. Like, they eat some weird shit. Like, I don't eat oxtail. I don't eat that weird shit. I don't eat, I don't uh, eat chitlins. Pig. I don't eat chitlins. pig's feet. <laughs> I don't eat any of that shit. I eat chicken, turkey, and fish. <laughs> and we keep it moving. We you mean you don't like some pickled pig's feet with your fried chicken every Sunday? I don't. I've, I haven't had fried chicken in about eight months. <laughs> and pickles pig's feet. <laughs> haven't we eaten <laughs> gator before? Weren't you working with me in Jacksonville when we ate I've gator? Had, I've had gator. Yeah. That was I was with white people. Black people don't eat that shit unless you're from like Louisiana or from yeah. Unless you're from there, you do that. No, I'm good. I don't need any. There's nothing wrong with eating gator. Nah, I'm straight. I mean, I've had it a couple times. Not real impressed, bro. I'll be honest with you. Well, they got two different kinds. There's a gator tail or gator sausage, which is mix, mixed with pork. Not so good. Gator tail's very good. You would say something about some damn sauce. Damn. Nah, I don't know. Maybe if I go to New Orleans or something like that, I'll try it again, but not around here. I'm, I'm looking forward to New Orleans. Going to try a whole bunch of different kinds of food. Oh, boy. Got to get a beignet, man. Oh, uh, Cafe Du Monde. A what? A beignet, a fried donut with the uh, confection sugar on it's it. It's like it's like a funnel cake kind of, yeah. but a little bit different. It is oh, fucking delicious. That's what it is. That. It is crack, but edible. You don't have to smoke it. You know what I mean? You can actually buy. Don't they sell that? Like where you can actually make it? Crack? Yeah. No, not crack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't That's talking about pretty crack. Sure you can put that yeah, in anything. You know, yeah. I wasn't talking about I can, crack. I can hook you up with somebody. I know people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joke. All right, so you heard about the shooting in Wesley Chapel, right? Yeah. The theater shooting? Yep. The intern hadn't heard anything about it. Are you serious? I know. I, I said, really? Damn. That's like right up the street. And I don't listen to the news. That's crazy. So this guy... A retired police officer. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. Yes, he's white. Okay. Um, he went. He went to the 120 showing of Lone Survivor. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, cheaper. And he's a veteran too, so that probably you know. Oh, I mean, man. he might get in for free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Have got, so which Dollar is still pretty movie. damn expensive. Yeah. You know, when we went to the movies to watch Anchorman, I. Uh, was that good, by the way? I thought it was pretty funny. Oh. Yeah. I, uh, you should see what she's looking up. It's real bad right now. Uh, can I, can I actually see why? <laughs> she typed in, she typed in black man slaughters. Here's a top three searches. Black man kills white woman. Black man kills white boy. Black man kills white kid. <laughs> Damn. All right, so 
<laughs> yeah, la- when I went there, they got me on the whole, oh, for like the whole like 75 cents more, free refill popcorn. Yep. Eyes are definitely bigger than my stomach. Yep, yep. Had I got the medium-sized one, I would have finished the whole thing, but the large, not so much. And I definitely didn't get a refill. So this guy's big thing was uh, he was pissed that the guy in front of him was texting before the movie started. Keyword, before the movie started, during the previews. And previews are like at least 15 minutes, 20 minutes now. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like watching a semi-movie. Kobe's essentially getting abused over there. Nah, motherfucker, this is the point. He done chewed through, like, four of them fucking $10 fucking harnesses. And before I slap the shit out of him on national radio, I figured I would take it off. National radio. You know, I make my. I, I thought that was a pretty good plug right there. National, no? I mean, regional, I guess anybody, regional, anybody can listen you know, to it. This is fucking... So, apparently, this guy was texting to find out about how his three-year-old daughter was doing at daycare, babysitter, whatever the situation was. It's kind of shitty, right? So, time out. He shot the man in the movie theater? Yeah, it was a couple rows ahead of him. He just shot him in like the back of the head? or No, no, no. I guess he said something. They both stood up. But apparently, um, according to video... I know he threw some popcorn at him or something. Video. Somebody Well, threw like some popcorn. the in-theater in video type thing. Or, or it was probably one of those... I don't think they... I don't know if they have anything. No, not cell phone. Like security or surveillance camera type thing. Um, there was nothing to show any type of like stand your ground type thing right um and the guy's wife or girlfriend whatever was there too and apparently she got shot in the hand or finger or something like that like, stop because she like well she had her hand against her husband boyfriend's chest and that's where she got shot yeah actually west shore pizza did this huge like uh what do they call those fundraiser for this dude it's like the other night every uh every person who bought a pizza or anything from there a dollar of what they went goes to a fundraiser for him well for the daughter i guess but yeah don't you think that's a bit much yeah man i'm gonna tell you exactly what i think is why people don't lost their damn mind that's what i think it is hmm. well the retired cop he was 71 i think that's about the time you start losing your mind as it I is i mean they're gonna have to put in Florida. They're gonna have to put age restrictions on everything, man. We got too many fucking snowbirds. Well, especially driving. Here. Yeah, driving, carrying a concealed weapon, breathing my motherfucking air. You know things like that. Cause, breathing my air. Because there's just too many of y'all, man, and and, and you're not functional, people. You're Talk not about older func- people. Yes, you're not functional. Now, if you can, if you can get out, wipe your own ass, stay in your own lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with you, but the minute you start like. Swerving in my lane, knocking over my mailbox, it's a problem. It's a problem. Take your ass back to Michigan. That's all I'm saying. All right, so. I'm not 100% topic. sure, but I think uh, I think the intern has a story for you. Off topic. So every time one of these events happen, you always ask if they're white, right? right. Why is that? Because white people do some wild ass shit that black people don't so do. So I'd like to read this to you, some fun events that well, bef- happened. Before you say that, remember city, remember in Kings know. of Comedy how Bernie Mac said, how many black people you know actually bought dynamite? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's one. Probably the country bumpkin in South Carolina <laughs> right here, right? I'll name a few. Um, this was a year ago, January 17th. A uh, black man kills six-year-old white child, claims child was racist as his defense. All right, where, was it, where is this, though? Where is this? I don't know. Yeah, because if you're going to tell me, like, Backwoods, Alabama, not shocked, not surprised. All right. If you tell me Live Oak, Florida, eh, not surprised. Well, maybe a little bit. Black man kills white teen. Oh, there's one. Black woman stands her ground and kills white man. Hmm. I've heard that. Four black slaughter white man in Detroit. Well, he had it coming. Well, you can't go to Detroit. He had it coming if he was fucking around motherfuckers (laughs) in Detroit. (laughs) He wasn't a real... White is definitely the minority because, hey, actually, no, um, Islamic people are, like, huge up there. Really? In Michigan, yeah. Because they got oil, bitch. They have oil in Michigan? No, they have the oil over there. Oh, they have the oil. They have the oil. I thought you meant they have oil in Michigan. No, 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 no. Actually, you know, you can go to the Dakotas and actually work in oil fields. Yeah. I know Making I know a ton of money no, doing it too. My my ex boss husband moved there about two months ago. He makes nothing less than fifty five hundred a week. And 
doing what? Working in oil fields? Laying gas pipes, laying pipes for gas and things. And they all work in like a, somebody comes in and does this job. The next people come in and do this job. You know what I'm saying? So they can Consistent work. Two, three days waiting on bad weather, whatever it is, getting paid. Family getting paid for food. Yeah. They take care of you, but there's nothing up there, bro. You you are just there to work. Bad bad weather, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say bad weather being negative forty. Yeah. No. But uh. The seventy five hundred week. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he would. Yeah, I mean, I probably could. He would. Well, it's almost like uh, temporary jobs, like the whole like working on crab boats, working on that type stuff. Know, uh, like you make a ton of money, but it's, it's temporary. shitty. Yeah, I know. Uh. uh I got a dude, not I got a dude, I got a homeboy that um works in the That's kitchen. Weird. Whatever. <laughs> works in the uh in the dude. kitchen for the um people that do the work in the actual oil fields. And he works like twelve hour shifts or whatever. In the kitchen? In the kitchen, killing it for free. Stays for free. He gets like three weeks off to go do whatever the fuck he wants to do. You just show back up in three weeks and get your paycheck. There was a website I saw like right after I graduated high school. It was like cooljobs.org or something like that. They were temporary or like summer jobs. So every season they had different jobs. Like winter they'd be ski resort jobs. Summer they'd be this. And it's in different states. Yeah. Like one time you may be in Montana. The next time you're going to like Texas. Texas, yeah. yeah and yeah. it's like little temporary jobs, which is pretty cool. I mean, if, if you, you have nothing, yeah. If you yeah, if, like if, you, if you got nothing else going on, why not? Why not experience all this cool stuff? Hey, I'm gonna go make you another drink. And on like my leaving exit note, um, black teens murder white baby for the fun of it. Was it in Miami? No, it was in uh, Brunswick. New Jersey. Georgia. You sure? Is that Georgia? It was in Brunswick, New Jersey, and I know no. they get no. It's New Jersey. A GA. It's Georgia. Oh. It don't shock me. Brunswick, New Jersey. Listen, I'm not saying that we don't do fucked up shit. What I'm saying is white people do, like, elaborate, over-the-top fucked up shit. Like, y'all will get fired. I know this this, ex- this example's been exaggerated and all that shit, but y'all get fired, and y'all will go off, like, make a huge scene, come back, and shoot up the place. Like going postal? Yeah. Like that whole concept? Like, a black person on the way out might slap the shit out of a few people, maybe punch and fuck up somebody that really pissed you off. And I'm leaving. I'm going home. I'm done. You know, there, you know there's, there's something funny on Tosh.0, because I know you love it so much, yeah. where this black dude was pissed inside of a convenience store just standing there naked. He wanted, all he wanted to do was buy some stuff. That was it. <laughs> naked. Just didn't care. <laughs> it's just... Uh, new season starts in February. Speaking of which, oh, man, that's funny. actually, you'll really, you'll really appreciate. Wait, wait, not to done? cut you off or anything, but um, black black man, yeah, kills boss's wife and daughter because he got fired. Ah, now what was the job? I'm clicking the link right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can listen. You can bring up any kind of story you want to. I'm gonna tell you how how it really went down. I can tell you how we think. I can tell you exactly how. If two, you tell me the job, I'll tell wait, you wait, why. he bashed them to death with a cement block. Okay, what was his? Was he a fucking mason? Go big or go home, right? <laughs> um, a twenty-year-old allegedly went to the Indianapolis home of his former boss during the middle of the day and murdered the man's wife and daughter after getting fired from his job. Um, Keep going uh, down. All right, give me a second here. I don't think it says anything. Keep From his down. job at Sundown Gardens after on, three months. I don't know really? what that is. Really? I only had the job for three months. Brutal. And he had attendance problems, it says. He worked as at a fucking garden place, man. What are you? Got a day going away, man. I guess. Tripping. Stressing. Yeah, it doesn't say very much. It was almost like a maintenance person. That's kind of what it looks like. Mm. Relax there, homie. So next week, are you going to attend again for the show about uh, animals? Yeah, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying, keep me informed. I don't think I have anything going on next week. We should be able to rock. Yeah, he was just moving shit. And he got fired. He got mad. He don't have any other like intellectual way to get at you, so he's going to go fuck your shit up the only way he knows how to. By bashing your head in with a cement block. The man moves plants. <laughs> no, it says it's a nursery and gardening facility, okay. and the court documents claim he bragged to a friend that he bashed the victim's heads in with some cement or something, and that he was angry for getting fired. Okay, he moved plants. That's what I mean. 
black people, man, just killing everyone. No, not everybody. We don't, we don't have the money to go buy the weapons to kill everybody. Just small that the groups. white people do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> weapons of mass yeah. destruction. Put it to uh, that is Google. Google. Let's Google the stats on who makes more bombs: white people or black people. I'm pretty sure I'll go with white people. Yeah, probably. But see, yeah. the thing is, you can't include Arabic people as black people because that's going to fucking skew the stats. You can't. You, know, you can't. No, they're they're not a. They're they're you know different. Some people might. Well, they're not white. That's all I'm saying. But they're not black. They definitely aren't black. But I'm just saying, if you Google they're closer that, to black than white. But see, that's what they, that's when they were trying to slide them over to my side. <laughs> and I don't really want them over there. Oh man. I'm just saying, man. We all do some wild shit. Y'all just go over the top with it. Y'all haven't really been doing it that long, so you're not that good at it. You know what I'm saying? That's why exactly. That's why y'all be like, it's like, it's like, wow. I, I didn't think, I didn't think Billy Evans had it in him to do it like that. Now, now, Raheem Jones, you probably saw he had it in him to do something like that. You know what I mean? It, it's all in the name. It's all in the name. Just like you said, the two names of the two whoever that choked and killed whoever. We started laughing. The, yeah, the two women's Come on names. Now. Yeah. Come on now. It is what it is. I'm not naive to this shit. I don't have a McSweeney minute tonight because my McSweeney minute that I had was a fantastic one. I, I need to work on it a little bit more. I need to re remember it. Re remember what, what's up? What's up, Roger Clemens? <laughs> misremember what? Do you yeah, say? I, I I miss our uh, what was it? I misremember. Misremembered or some shit. Yeah, I don't know what said. that's ridiculous. Yeah, we can make up our own words too when we, when we get so rich. All right, so next week, as long as it does happen next week. It's whatever. Just let me know, baby. I'll it's going to be it's gonna be a show about animals, and you're going to love it, being the Gaffs an animal lover. Is it going to – I don't know, man. This is going to be outrageous. I don't, dude, I, don't, I don't want any fucking, like, PETA people up in this bitch, man. I can't take that right now. Why would there be PETA people here? Like, oh, my God, animal lover. No, Plus One said that she couldn't attend a show like that because she wants to do another one, but because she likes animals too much that she'll cry the entire time. That's too much. This, okay, well, yeah, I'm interested to see how that's going to go down. We should just invite them anyway, see if we can make them crack how long it'll take. That'd be funny. I mean, for me, it would be. We'll show her some images from Google Images, like SPCA commercials, and like you said, they show the dog that's yeah, the there. one that's no, like. No, I cried when you showed me the video of the the cop shooting that dog that was defending its. Owner. Oh, you saw that, right? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. G bag. Well, I mean, someone should have held it in the car. It didn't deserve to be shot. It didn't even attack anyone. Yo, didn't the owner get shot? No, 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 no. He deserved to be shot. The dog didn't. The guy didn't deserve to be shot. Yeah, definitely didn't deserve to shoot the I'll guy. I'll take a person being shot any day over an animal. Oh, okay. Hey, before we go, real quick, if you're driving down the street. Okay. Uh-oh. I already know where this is. Some type of animal runs in front of you. Right. Dog, cat, bear, doesn't matter, whatever. All right. Are you swerving to avoid it, which means you might hit that <laughs> mailbox, which could lead to a tree, which could lead to something right. else, or are you going to run through that animal? Depends on the animal. Oh, my God. It does. Because you'll do more damage to your car the bigger the animal. Okay. All right. Let's if take you, bears and stuff out of it. Okay. Let's go with... If it's small, I'm running through that motherfucker. Sorry. So if Kobe runs in front of your car, you're just going to run over him? Hopefully I don't identify him in time. I mean, you have... Yeah. It's you and your car or a dog. I'd swerve. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. I, I don't anticipate my dog like running out in front of my car while I'm driving at like 50 miles an hour. That'd be kind of weird. That'd be that'd be a little awkward. I think it would be a little like premeditated or set up, you know. But I dog's like, be. man, I've had enough of this shit. I'm tired of being <laughs> locked in the you house. You know, I bet more people more people probably donate to those like really sad, pathetic ASPCA commercials than they do to the little African kids. Yeah, because they don't like black kids. No, it's almost the same thing with the kids, though. Listen, it's worse. It's like. I already went through this. It's a very retarded matter. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a person. <laughs> but you hit the horn, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> or like driving down, it's in Dunedin on Union, which says deaf kids. Oh, yeah. There's no horn. I mean, hit the horn all day. Nothing's going to happen. I was like, first of all, hit the little deaf Wait, if you have time house. to hit the horn all day, then why don't you just stop the car? Obviously, you have time to think about Maybe it. Maybe it's raining. 
So you can't stop your car. Or maybe you're speeding anyway. So you can't slow down your car. Okay, it's so slow it down. Yeah, I can slow can it down. Can move out of the way a little bit. Instead of breaking his entire back. Wait, you're saying you're gonna? <laughs> <only> <laughs> so you'd hit a child too. I didn't say that. Is his dumbass in the street? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. They make first of all they make sidewalks. Okay. And. I don't know about, I mean, there's this thing called, I don't know, common fucking sense, okay? When we were growing up, 80s babies, I'm an 80s baby. They told us to do what? Hey, see them big ass things on wheels in the street? They hurt when they hit you. Or I don't know, when you play football in the street growing up, if you're active and you run into one or two of them at a time, you're like, you know what? I'm going to get out of the road when I see them motherfuckers moving. Maybe. But kids play fucking, they, he probably was trying... Here, here's, here's, here's my 2014 scenario for you. We're going to end on this note, okay? Oh, actually, I got one more thing for All you right. before we end. So, remember, motherfuckers now play Grand Theft Auto, okay? When you see a little kid in the street, I want you to stop and talk to him. And, I mean, pulls you out of the car and takes your car away. You could have thought about hitting him, okay? Just remember that. Run his ass over. They don't need to be in the street. I mean, I started with animals here. I mean, I don't know how we got into running over kids, but... Kids ain't nothing but... This right here is a child, man. That's like a, a two-year-old. You know, has the brain of a child, yeah. I hit his ass, too. No, so what I wanted Except to end on... he doesn't on, cry as much as yours. Jack. He doesn't cry that much. She said Are wands. you kidding? Make the face. Make the face. Show him the face. Now, he walks around all the time. time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It just looks like he's going to burst out crying. Oh, and he man. does Usually it for like 20 though. minutes straight. He has the face. He keeps that face. Yeah, king of tears. King yeah. of tears. Oh, um, no, what I was going to say is uh, uh, taking a commanding lead in the Doom Pool. This guy got his sleeper pick death already. Oh, was it May Young? May Young. 30 points. Pretty much game over for you guys. All right, Just so to explain this to you real quick, we picked motherfuckers that are supposed to die by the time this, before this year. Checks out. And <laughs> we got points. Okay? I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. They wanted to do it. Hey. Guess who won it last year? You got right here. Your boy right here. Yeah, he picked Nelson Mandela. Hey, let Kobe yeah. over here. Yeah, that was a pretty good pick. I'm going Fidel Castro. Oh, Fidel Castro was, was my number one pick. We do like a draft, 10 rounds. Um, <laughs> pretty uh, pretty intense. My first two picks, Fidel Castro and uh, George Bush Sr., because he was almost on his way out a couple years ago. He's got money, man. He's got that Magic Johnson money. Uh, no, I don't know what Magic Johnson has, but he doesn't have AIDS anymore, I can tell you that. For damn sure. Oh, man. Hey, no bite. Oh, we don't know that. Nah, that's no big deal. No big deal.